Hey, we're back again with Rambo. Um, you watched the last episode, you know that Edward, our friend, took our cat. Little bitch. Um, but now we're just trying to escape to find him and all that good stuff. Which I'm going to do. I need another carrot? Yes, I do. Because I honestly don't know if this is important or not. Because there are things. Uh, I tried things down there. Okay, logic would dictate. Is this a thing? Can I actually use this? Oh! I can! Huh! That's what that battery was for. Okay, now everything makes sense. Oh, yep, it's charging, so you're going to do something now. Do I press... You? No. Oh, maybe. Oh, the thing goes here. Okay, and then I go on here, press this. Oh! Hmm. Uh, mommy? Daddy? Where are you? Are you. They definitely are now! Oh. Water symbol. Oh. <gasps> oh. Okay. So that's what we needed the bucket for. Um, can I get out of this reality? Oh, thank God, a lot less. Oh, hello. Um. Reset button. Okay. Um. Looks even. Right? I don't know. I don't know what's the premise for this. I wonder if those things down there were telling us something. Can I examine you? Do you speak of secrets? Okay, let's go back down. Maybe there's something down here. It has to be with these numbers or something. It must be in this reality, because... Up there, it just automatically put me in that reality. Eight arrow. So these must be the buttons. Is that how much? And then, oh, oh, oh! I need my, I need, my, I need paper and pencil again. Okay. Okay. So let's hear one. Okay, so one is by the hat, and what are you? You are right eight, then two, three, four, five. Okay. Oh, and then I need to use this on the rabbit, so the rabbit goes down, and I can look at that number. Okay, so then five, right? Then you eight left. Six right. And the final number. Let's see if it has arrows down here. Nine left. Okay. Those numbers had to be for something. <laughs> And they're the corpses of my dead parents. Hello, how are you? We're just gonna make that go away now. Okay, so reset button. Need to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh! Just locked my ass. Oh god. Surprise, friend! Happy- This was a- Bitch, I cut you! Oh, birthday party. Whoa, I thought you wanted to kill Mr. Midnight. You lied to me. We lied to you in order to keep your attention in another direction. I'm very sorry I had to fool you, my friend. I'm gonna still cut you. We wanted to surprise you, my dear friend. Come and eat cake. You too, baby? Alright, thank you, kitty. You really surprised me. Thank you, Whitford, sir. Mm -hmm. The cake is made of all ingredients you like, Mr. Mr. Midnight told me which ones. And we have something very special for you from all members of the ship. Um, by all members, you mean what? It's like just three of us are recluding stuffed animals. There's a rabbit sitting next to you, man. Did you lie about that rabbit phobia? That means all of us naturally born or handmade beings. Here you go. Oh, that's a lot. Then you have a lot of cats. I hope you find it educational. It's a cat, isn't it? Wow, I love the wrapping. Can I open it now, please? Yes, go ahead. Open it. Oh, I love it. I want one. Wow, cat doll. Oh, thank you so much. I love it. It's beautiful. It has a button in it. It may give your eyes a new perception. perception. You you know, like the ultra reality. Is that what happens when I take the red pill, sir? Is the ultra reality what I see? Well, it depends. Would you like some explanations? Yes. Yes, please. Look, what you've seen is a mixture of different realities, and the ultra reality is like an invisible room where everything exists at the same time. That explains all the messed up shit. You've got five realities in one room. For example, at this exact coordinate of time and space, we're having a birthday party. But in the ultra reality, other things are happening all the time. So are faster or just invisible to the human eye. It's because of the time of time. Humans can define past, present, and future. Defining things encapsulates reality. It gives humans a chance to understand their environment. You have a different perception of the environment. It's not linked to definitions. Do you understand what I say? Eh. I'm not sure, sir. I think. Maybe. I feel a bit dizzy. Ah, uh, that may be the ship going up and down. Blow on the candles now, dear. We're about to reach our destination. Turn 11! You mean we're about to get home? Did you hear that, kitty? Yes, we are about to arrive. Really? Wow, how exciting. Alright, here I go. You had to blow out the candles, Fran. Oh no, 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 no. Oh dear, what's happening, Mr. Minet? Are you alright? I'm alright, but I hope the ship won't break. It sounds dangerous. Fran, you have to help. I have to drive the machine again. The automatic driver was destroyed by the Kamalas. Damn it, Kamalas! There's one left alive. Do you have to get rid of it? Find it. Fast! How do I do that, sir? Water, that cleans the dirt. Hurry up now. Remember, it may be hiding from your eyes. Oh my goodness, Kitty, I'm scared. Me too, my Fran. We have to find the Kamala. I really hope the water destroys it. Let's go. Okay, we can only see it in the other reality. Uh, hi, Clara Mia. How are you guys doing? Okay, it's not here. Just that freaky clown doll. You. Oh, God. Be gone, foul beast! Oh. What are you doing? Ah, don't run away. Where are you going? Oh, I need more water. I need more water. I need to get it from, from the thing. I think. Oh, shit. Shit. Shit, I don't have the thing anymore. I must have ran up to the top. Because it did go up. Hello, bunny. How's it going? You having a good time? Oh, that looks like me now! That's so cute! Yeah, but how? Can I just... Oh! Right there, maybe? Nope. That's the same spot. Okay, so it needs to be to the far left. Okay, do it now. Die! Really? We're gonna play this game. Okay, now. 
How dirty are you? Okay, it's just gotta be one more time. Oh, nope, it's gone. I think I finally got rid of the Kamala. I'm the best. I should go back to Edward. You guys can go away now. But go back to hell. Edward, so we did. The Kamala's gone. It's gone, yes, but it's too late, dear. I can't take you home. We are going down. No, please, don't tell me this. It's not fair. Not fair. Oh. Oh. I will always take care of you, my dear. Mm. Hey, babies. Stop playing with my emotions. Oh, God. And the ship was going down until it crashed. Everything was destroyed. The end. I better not be the end man. That's a very sad ending, it were. Tell me another story, please. Mr. Manesh is chillin'. Alright, this is the story of Fran Bow and me. When she promised never to forget me or about the magic of everything. He, I promise it, word I'll never forget you. But I did. Good. Now it's time to sleep. Even if it was just... I mean, he looked familiar to us, but still we forgot him nonetheless. Expect me in your dreams, my friend. What just happened? I'm confused. Chapter 4, Part 2. Doctor's Prescription. Zipiz. Duotan. Duotin. Duotain. There's a deer sniffing me. Where's that word? Fran, awake and see. Run, dear. Bad things are gonna happen to you. It word? It's Mr. Midnight. Now, oh, Kitty, are we alive? We survived the crash. But the bike didn't. Oh, dear, yes, we are alive. But where's it word? He was with us. He protected us. But Edward is gone. But he brought us home. We are outside the town, Fran. I can smell it. Are you sure, Kitty? Are we already home? thought you would be happier about it. What is it? It's just that... I wonder where Edward is. I wish I could say goodbye. Maybe you can take the medicine to see him again. Yes, Kitty, but I took all the pills already, you see. The bottle's empty. Anyway, let's go home. Maybe Edward will come to see me someday. That was the bike he was using, wasn't it? Red bicycle. Is this Edward's bicycle or mine? Oh, yeah, we don't have our pills anymore. Well... Oh, what do we still have? Examine you. Because there's a button right here. Oh, oh, I need a key. But it's so cute looking. Sorry. Feels like not like Mr. Minna had a baby. <laughs> oh, this is our town? It's kind of cute, actually. Oh my goodness, this is our street kitty. Hayes Street. Hayes. Yes, it is. Okay, what else can I mess with? What about this door? Is this it? I guess we just go down. Is this our house? Maybe? And here we are. This looks much more gray than I remembered. Well, I hope Aunt Grace will be happy to see me. Hmm. Oh. oh! I'm sorry, little insects. Don't run away. Oh. oh. I'm sorry, little insects. Don't run away. Oh! I took the key, Fran. It says I took the key, signed Fran. Fran? That's me, but... What? So, I took the key? I have the key? What key? There is no key. I should go home. And Grace, hello? Maybe she's not home, dear. Do you have the key to go inside? I don't have a key, but I know where there's a hidden key somewhere. I just need to remember where. Hmm, let's find it. But it's not... Yeah, see, it's not there. But I haven't taken the key, and I didn't write that note. It's all so confusing. What should I do now? Mr. Midnight, give me guidance. Um, can I try banging on the door again? <sighs> can I climb in? Can I? Come here, kitty. You must climb and go through the window. I couldn't find the key. It seems that I already took it. 
I already took the key, but you don't have it? That sounds very strange. Yes, it's very strange. I only found a note that I don't remember writing. But now in order to get inside, Kitty, you must climb and open the door for me. Ugh, alright then. Wish me luck. You can do it, Kitty. Be careful. Climbing things. Oh, do I need to wait? Mr. Midnight, do you hear me? Kitty, open the door. Um. Oh, the good doctor. Fran, I can't believe this. You are alive. Where were you? Dr. Dern, I'm fine. Please don't take me back to the asylum. I've been looking for you a long time now. How did you escape? I escaped through the yellow door, sir. But why are you outside the house? Well, I don't have the key, but Mr. Midnight is inside now. He climbed and went in through the window of the second floor, sir. Mr. Midnight, isn't that your missing cat? Yes, but we found each other in the end. Sir, may I ask why you are here? I came to meet Miss Grace. I have something very important to tell her. I think she's not at home, sir. Well, it may be better this way. You'll have to come with me, then. No, I won't leave my kitty again. Let's wait until he opens the door. Fran, I don't believe your cat is inside the house. That's impossible. I'm telling you the truth. He is inside. He will open the door in a minute. Stop it, Fran. Face real. Your cat is dead. You must come with me now. Oh, fuck you. No, no. Bad touch! Bad touch! I need an adult! I need a different adult! No! Mr. Midnight? Hi. <sighs> I am not happy with you, Dr. Dern. Not a one... Not one bit, can I... I'm sorry, Fran. I don't want to hurt you or scare you. I'm just worried about Mr. Midnight, so you made me leave him. Is he really alive? Of course he is, sir. Why would I lie about it? This feels so wrong. You know, Fran, I was fired from the asylum because I knew too much. I have found things that I do not understand yet. I really thought you were dead. Look at these documents. Only murder on Hayes Street. The bodies were perfectly sliced. Martin and Lucia Bow Dagenhart were found early this week brutally murdered in the residence of Hayes Street. The investigation police officer, Marco Hulma, said it seems the bodies are perfectly sized, which would cause quick, instantaneous death. Also, there were no signs of a struggle in the house, so the victims must have been caught completely by surprise and weren't able to fight back. The police interrogated Grace Dakenhart, Lucia's twin sister, but the police didn't find any useful information. The youngest in the family, Fran Bo, was found in the woods one day after her parents' murder. She froze to death. She froze to death? Dear Gladys, let the newspaper know about Fran Bo. She was found in the forest, frozen to death. She ran away from home after finding about her parents' murder. Beloved Fran Bo, Fran is now free from all pain. We hope you reunite with your family in heaven. I'm alive. But I'm not dead, sir. This is all lies. I see that. I also found out that your medicine was switched. You were given a new variant of duotine. When I took it in the laboratory, the levels of echoplomanin were too high. <laughs> That can't be good. It creates a door between the subconscious and the conscious. The problem is, if the Martin is too high, the door will be too wide. And that can create a great confusion in your brain. A great confusion in my brain? I'm a bit confused, yes. But that's because of all the new things that I can see and feel. What do you mean, Fran? I can see the ultra-reality, sir, and also travel into other worlds. Ultra-reality? That must be the consequence of duotine, nothing more. That is not true. If I had more medicine, I could show you. You don't need that medicine anymore. Besides, it's all in your head, Fran. All in my head, you say. Then I may be able to control it. I mean, that you're imagining things, that's all. I tried to tell my mother the truth, but father would harm her as well. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck is back there? I don't want my father playing with his knife again. My arm hurts. Was he cutting into you and didn't want- Oh. Oh, did your father harm you with his knife, Doctor? What? Who told you that? You did, or didn't you, sir? I haven't said anything about it. Oh my goodness, then it's true. Oh, please, let's focus. But you're not listening to me, sir. We need to find out the truth. I wonder who's behind all this. The nurses, Oswald, who knows? I do know, sir. It's the big black monster, Remor. He took my parents, and now he hunts me. He wants me dead. I wish I stayed in Ithercia with Polon Trust and the Great Wizard. What are you talking about? Please, Fran, I'm serious. I never said goodbye to Edward or Polon Trust, and my kitty is all alone. Polon Trust, Edward, please, Fran. 
Lantros is the doctor of a thirsty. He's a fine creature. Very fluffy, sir. And Edward is my faithful friend. He brought me home with his machine. It seems you have been living inside a fairy tale. It wasn't good all the time, sir. The twins were, are gone because of me. I saw myself killing Mr. Minna, and I saw mother and father, too. The twins? What twins? The girls that were attached to each other. Attached, you say? That reminds me of the Clara and Mia case. Two girls in the asylum that claim to see a creature named Edward or something. Edward, I think you're misunderstanding, sir. It's Itward. What happened to these girls? Dr. Oswald was experimenting on them. He sued them together. Mostly to see the reaction to the DNA, but nothing happened. A few months later, they died and their bodies were thrown into a well. Oh. So we opened a door into their grave. That is awful, sir. You can't take me back to the asylum. Don't worry, I won't. I brought you with me so you can help me. Maybe we can find something that will lead us to those responsible for all this disgrace. Thank you, doctor. Maybe Pontus was right about you. You're not a bad doctor. You're just an old man following the rules. Following the rules? Well, not tonight. You should take me back and get my cat. I'm just saying that cat's real important. Here we are. But this is the cemetery, sir. What are we doing here? You'll see. Come on, follow me. Alright, we're actually going to follow him in the next episode, because we're going on 20 minutes. Um, I don't want it to be, like, 20 to 30 minutes is kind of what I'm shooting for, because this is a lot of dialogue, me pointing, clicking, failing at puzzle solving, all that good stuff. So we will follow Dr. Dern, which I I am starting to um, rethink my original opinion of him right now. So maybe... I guess what she said is true. Palantras is right. He's just following the rules, and now he's trying to right his right the wrongs. And I guess it's Os Oswald the Simon was what it was called. So I guess he was the founder of it. But anyway, we're gonna get in more into that later. Um, if you like this episode, comment, favorite, like, subscribe, that kind of stuff. You know, you can't see my hand, but it's doing that motion. So I will see you in the next episode, hopefully. Bye.